I didn't think. I wasn't kidding about this one. Now, now these vehicles uh, are about as real as the, the Hollywood actors in Hollywood. Uh, for example, the Ferrari has just got a Volkswagen engine on the inside. The, uh, the, uh, the Flintstone rides, you'll see those coming up ahead. Uh, uh, reconfigured golf carts with a fiberglass shell. Though I, I never understood why Fred Flintstone got, got a sports car. Right, if you remember, they're all powered by feet. <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> no, but, uh, of course, he has to have the Ford Anglia from Harry Potter. But uh, uh, up ahead, you're also going to be seeing the Gyrosphere. Jurassic World, featured in the uh, first and second film, The Fallen Kingdom. And that gyrosphere, if you're looking at it today, you're going to notice it actually is missing the glass sphere, the bubble that it had in the movie. Well, truth of it is, it never had it in real life, because uh, glass is highly reflective, right? The last thing the crew wanted while you were watching dinosaurs attack kids was to see the crew <laughs> watching the dinosaurs attack the kids. So they had to add it using the same CGI technology as King Kong, right? Apparently it's as easy as that these days, truthfully. Uh, but, but... It goes to show because the very first Jurassic Park film actually revolutionized CGI in the film industry. That the mobile lab unit will be on your left, that featured here on your screens. Now this mobile lab unit, when it was constructed, it was actually made almost entirely out of plywood, as you can now tell as you're passing it by. Maybe it is. Uh, it's not as shiny as I thought it would be. Now, from the very first film, you might remember Dennis Nedry. He tried to escape off the island. Some dino DNA gets attacked by some dinosaurs himself. Well, guys, we got those dinosaurs from the original film. They're coming on up here to the right and to the left, and I, I don't, I don't see them. Anymore. They've escaped their cages. Eric, that's not good. Eric, that is not good. I tell you what, if they get out and attack our guests, it'll be our jobs. What? Oh my goodness! Oh my! I am so sorry, folks. Yeah. Uh, you just got spit on by some of those toxic liquid on the main plant. Oh, I was about to get spit on by some of those toxic liquid on the main plant. Oh, it's happening. Yeah. Now, we're screaming each one more time because I can't. I'm just going to let the four car suffer right now a little bit. Don't mind us, folks. We're just taking our time, getting attacked by some dinosaurs. There we go. Now, uh, the scene on your screens, I'm showing you uh, again because I can. And, be uh, and because it's cool. And it's cool for a couple of reasons. You see, they filmed this scene here in Southern California, and you'll notice it's raining. They didn't do that here, folks, at least not often enough. Today we got thunder, we got lightning, but really what we need is rain. So there it is. Falling dramatically from the skies. But yeah, it's a sprinkler system. <laughs> right above the ceiling of the tram. But these raindrops are about five to eight times thicker than regular rain. Oftentimes we'll backlight it to show it uh, better on camera as well. It, uh, in the black and white film era, uh, we filmed it with powder. We stopped doing that. Uh, but these raindrops are still larger than normal. So Susie, do me a favor. Can you uh, just go ahead and uh, shut them off for us? Thanks so much. Susie, Susie, you gonna go and turn it off, please? We're gonna, we're gonna head out. Susie. Uh oh. Y'all, we left it on too long. We left it on too long. I would have to mention, if you're sitting in a blue seat, there's a chance you might get wet. Yeah, they're all blue. <laughs> they're on your screens, Big Fat Liar, Paul Giamatti, Frankie Muniz, and Amanda Bynes utilize the same flash flood you just witnessed. So did Lady Gaga in her music video, Judas. Now, in that video, Gaga, she got swept away by the flood, and believe it or not, when they filmed the chat, she did it in our metro sets right now, but they're also prepping this area to film. In fact, the episode, they've already filmed here. The episode uh, just got released last night that was featured in R6 Point Sexus, so if you're watching the reboot, be sure to check that out. Uh, but uh, you'll look at these sets, you'll know, notice a couple of things, and all of the background sets are actually built the same way. All of the brick and stone you're looking at out here, well, none of it's real brick or stone. You can actually see it chipping a little bit, peeling away here at the corner where it says Eagle Hotel. Uh, you'll also notice a lot of sets are just front most of our backlot sets. Most of the time when we go inside, we will utilize the sound stages. The outside of the sets engagement during the parade sequence. This was Port Royal and 